3801 North Point Road. We're on a double yellow line road here. There's the highway right, right there. Uh, there's a used tire place right across the street here. Um, some couple of food places there, and there's uh, this vacant looking property here. I'm not sure what that is. There's a like big gravel lot with some vehicles and stuff. Um, so this house, uh, the siding, the siding looks all right. The front porch, the cement porch thing looks fine. Uh, roof, roof doesn't look too bad. It looks mostly flat all around except for over here. It just curls up on the edge just a little bit. I think most of the roof is probably fine. Um, pretty, pretty long driveway here. Going back to a large garage back there. Siding over on this side looks fine. Uh, this thing here, this thing's just being held together by a rope. So that don't look too good there. Um, so steel girders up here on the side. So big cement area in the back. Back of the roof looks like it's fine. Siding around back looks good. Um, not sure exactly how back, to, how far back this property goes. There's this trailer over here. So maybe this is. There's a couple more sheds back here, and then there's a field behind that. I tried to look for like a property line marker, but it's kind of. I'm not really sure. I don't know if this is it or if these are part of the property also. garage here is a big tin garage seems like it's mostly intact except the doors are kind of busted up there's no motors for the garage door uh, this garage is pretty big it's um 39 foot 3 by 25 foot 10 some of the windows are busted there's a couple small holes in the tin but the uh, structure, all the wooden structure, looks like it's probably fine. Uh, siding around back looks good. Chimney up there looks fine. So here's this gravel car lot thing here. I don't know. Um, this one don't don't really seem like it's falling apart. It's a little bit wobbly, but it's not falling apart like the other one. Siding over on this side looks fine. So we're on radiators, radiator heating in here. Little front room thing, <clears throat> entrance way. There's a stairs to uh, like a converted attic room up there. Um, this living room area is 14 foot six by 11 foot five. We have this metal window here, and there's a couple of vinyl windows on the back. All the rest of the windows are wooden. They all seem like they slide pretty freely, but lots of them are missing the ropes so they don't stay open. They're not painted or anything, but yeah, lots of them don't stay open. Um, carpet's kind of thick, and I got my boots on, so I can't tell for sure, but I think the floors in here are kind of uneven. Trim looks decent all around. A little bit of texture on the ceiling. The walls look fine. And then behind this wall here, the living room wall, there's a dining room, kitchen. So this wall could easily come out and open it up. And then over here is bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, downstairs. This bedroom on this side over here is 11 foot 5 by 13 foot 5. Floors are definitely uneven in this room. Walls look okay. There's a couple of mold, water, light water spots on the ceiling. Windows missing the ropes so they don't stay open. Radiator there. Trim looks good all around. The rest of the walls look okay. And there's this back corner bedroom. The floors in here are definitely real uneven. They go uphill pretty seriously. This room is nine foot five by eleven foot three, and there's actually no no closet in here. Also, that's a vinyl window. It works good. This one's a boarded up wooden window. Trim looks fine. Walls look all right. And we have this uh, full bath here. Looks like looks like. Plastic.
plastic tiles around most of the bathroom. Yeah, those are plastic tiles. Uh, tub, kind of low. Plastic sheet around the tub looks all right. I mean, the tub itself looks all right. Vinyl window in the bathroom there. Sink cabinet looks a little. Uh, it's just kind of dirty. I guess it's it's all intact. All right, and then the <clears throat> dining room area here. Floors seem like they're a little uneven in here as well. Um, this room is 11 foot 1 by 11 foot 4. Wooden windows there. Wood paneling on the lower portion of the wall. Uh, wood paneling up top too, actually. Uh, tile on the ceiling. Trim looks alright. We have this little... Uh, island thing here and then the kitchen kitchen is pretty small right now it's uh, 11 foot 3 by 7 foot 10 wood windows in the kitchen as well cabinets look pretty old a couple missing doors yeah, they're kind of kind of ugly looking wooden countertops tile on the ceiling there's some water spots here and there some saggy saggy ceiling <clears throat> and then over here that's the door to the back yard Kind of like a little sunroom area, I guess, here. This is a 17 foot 5 by 7 foot 4. Looks like it's drywall around. The walls look alright, except here there's a little bit of moisture damage on the ceiling. Trim looks alright. And vinyl windows in this room here. So I don't know, maybe you take out that wall. Take out that wall. You could open it up a bit if you wanted. There's a big dip in the floor here. Oh, there's a bunch of water spots on the ceiling up here as well. I don't know if this is like drywall or what it is. It seems seems kind of thinner or lighter than drywall. Um, this is the, the width of the house. It's uh, 29 foot 2. And then to this wall here is 10 foot 11 across. And there's the cinder block thing in the middle there, stairs there. All wooden windows up here. This uh, insulation stuff has got a little bit of mold on it. It looks pretty wet. Some storage stuff there. Floors, floors seem just like maybe slightly uneven in a couple spots up top here. And then down in the basement, this railing's not attached. These stairs are pretty wobbly, but the actual wood seems like it's fine. It just needs like a support underneath this corner here. Beam height down here. Six foot nine. Six foot nine, six foot ten. Six foot eight. I don't know. Seems a little short, I guess. Um, the dimensions of this basement thing here are twenty-two foot nine by twenty-eight foot eight. Damn, I almost stepped in that hole. Um Separated in the middle by the stairs here is a lot of water, a whole bunch of puddles all around, busted windows. This door doesn't go anywhere, it goes up underneath that back kind of sunroom area. That door goes to the storm hatch. Uh, box is 150 amp, everything looks attached. Water heater looks good. And uh, radiator thing here. It looks all right, it looks a little old. Yep. Some water puddles over here, water puddles in that corner. Yep, that's it.